Foreign media has alleged that China's growing military strength is making other countries highly concerned and vigilant. NPC spokesperson Fu Ying refuted those remarks as she announced that China plans to increase military spending by 7 percent in 2017. We will have the finest equipment. 3 percent less than the United States. Strengthening Chinese capabilities benefits regional peace and security. If we talk about vigilance, look at the wars and conflicts, the loss of life and displacement of refugees over the past decade. Has China caused a single one? The U.S. already has a huge military budget. I wonder if they would be asked the same question. Fu Ying has been the spokesperson for the National People's Congress for five consecutive years. The former Chinese diplomat is known for her stylish handling of sharp questions. Fu Ying says there are two questions that are definitely going to be raised from foreign reporters, China's rising military budget, and from domestic reporters, the continued air pollution. Last winter, almost all cities in China were shrouded by heavy smog. Most pollutants come from steel and coal plants, as well as car emissions. As the top legislature, we must continue to strengthen our legal framework for environmental protection. And second, we must continue to supervise the enforcement of laws. A lot has been done over the past few years but we still haven't met people's expectations. Uncertainty over Sino-U.S. relations is also under the spotlight. Last year, the new U.S. President Donald Trump questioned the one-China policy and said China's entry to the World Trade Organization caused tens of thousands of U.S. factories to shut down. Should challenges arise, China will deal with them calmly. We've seen quite a number of high-level interactions. President Xi and President Trump have had two telephone calls. The message from the calls was clear. Both leaders understand the need for more cooperation and good partnership. The press conference marks the beginning of China's annual National People's Congress, when around 3,000 deputies will cast their votes to decide the country's next steps. Han Peng, CGTN, Beijing.